What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we are going to talk about the best camera accessories for the trail. If you guys are new here, my name is Habiba and this is Trekking Pals. When you are hiking and backpacking, especially if you are going on a strenuous day hike or a multi-day backpacking trip, the last thing that you want to worry about is first of all, logging heavy equipment to take photos or videos on the trail or not knowing how to manage your gear. And so the purpose of this video is to share with you some accessories to help you have a better experience taking photos and videos on the trail. We also just hit 500 subscribers on our YouTube channel and we are extremely excited and very thankful to all of you for being present, for tagging along on our adventures and for encouraging us throughout the way. And we want to say thank you in our own way. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video because we're going to give away one of our favorite camera equipments and that is the Peak Design Camera Clip. We will give you more details about how to enter the giveaway. But first, let's talk about the topic of today's episode. So we're going to talk about these accessories in three categories. The first one is going to be the GoPro, and then the second category is going to be the DSLR camera, and the third category is going to be the phone. As you guys know, we are huge fans of the GoPro. This is what we use when we are making videos out on the trail, hiking or backpacking. 95% of our content on this YouTube channel is made with a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, when you purchase the GoPro, this is what you get. This is the body of the camera. You can still use it to take photos and videos, but I would not recommend just holding the camera like this to take photos of yourself when you are vlogging on the trail or taking photos and videos of things around you. It's just not practical. Because imagine if you are holding the camera like this, chances of you dropping it are very high. And if you happen to be hiking by an edge, if you drop the camera, you lose it forever. And so that takes us to our favorite accessory for the GoPro, and that is the GoPro Shorty. This is an extended pole with a built-in tripod that can be used to attach the GoPro to, and I'm going to show you how you can attach the GoPro. But first, you will need another piece, and that is called the GoPro cage. So the GoPro goes inside the cage, and then you attach the cage to the GoPro Shorty. Place the GoPro inside of the cage, Make sure that it's closed and secure. And then you would attach the cage to the GoPro Shorty. And there is a piece of metal that's going to help make sure that it's secure. And this is already much better. As you can see here, you can extend the pole and you can take videos of yourself or you can take photos. This is also helpful if you want to take videos from different angles on the trail. Let's say you want to place the camera in front of you and then walk towards it or behind you and capture you walking away from uh, the camera. And when you are hiking on the trail, you might not find flat surfaces. So using the built-in tripod and the extension can be very helpful. So this is technically our setup when it comes to using the GoPro on the camera. We did, however, upgrade from this cage that I just showed you to a better one, and I'm going to show you why. So this is the new cage that we have been using. And the upgrade from the old one to the new one is the possibility to add accessories to the camera. There is an adapter that I can attach right here. And this adapter is going to allow me to add a microphone, for example, or a small light to the camera, but mainly we use it for the microphone. You can always use the built-in microphone on the GoPro, but if you want to enhance the quality of your audio, it's better to use a microphone. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm going to insert the GoPro and then I will close it. I don't know where the piece is. And then for the microphone, for example, I have a Rode microphone. Because there are two ports in here, I am going to insert the microphone and I want to make sure that this is connected to the camera and this is going to allow me to technically use a new microphone and enhance the quality of my audio. So this is the current setup that we use for filming on the trail. This is a Rode microphone. It comes with this uh, fluffy piece, but the trick is if you are filming on the GoPro and you are using the wide angle, the microphone is going to show in your footage and it happened to me before. So just make sure that you do remove in this piece here if you are using the microphone for the GoPro. So these are some of my favorite accessories for the GoPro. The next GoPro accessory is the head strap. This is very useful if you are rock climbing or if you are uh, hiking in high elevation or in an inclined trail and you really want to use your hiking poles. So all you have to do is to strap it to your head 
or your helmet if you are rock climbing and then you can mount the GoPro in here. All you have to do is hit record and it's going to be taking films for you. There is also a chest mount that you can mount to your chest. Maybe if you are skiing or cross country skiing, we have not used that before, but that's also an additional GoPro accessory that you can try. And I believe that wraps it up for the GoPro accessories. And let's move to the second category to talk about the DSLR camera accessories. Our favorite accessory, as we mentioned earlier, is the Peak Design Camera Clip. This is a clip that you can attach to your backpack one piece is attached to your backpack and then the second piece is attached to your camera and all you have to do if you are taking the camera or the DSLR camera on the trail is to slide it up and down, clip and unclip and you have very easy access to your camera. It is our lifesaver and our favorite piece of gear when it comes to taking the DSLR camera on the trail. Alex has one, I have one. When we're switching cameras between each other, it's very easy to use and this is what we are giving away today. So if you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, it's very easy. All you have to do, just leave a comment and let us know, hey guys, we are interested in entering the giveaway and you will be automatically entered in the giveaway. Then, depending on the number of people who are interested, we will draw a random number or a random name and then we will reach out to you asking about what address you want the Peak Design uh, clip to be shipped to. So, as easy as that, if you guys are interested, please leave a comment and let us know that you want to enter the giveaway. And that is the first gear for the DSLR. The second accessory is also a Peak Design accessory. This is a strap, a rest strap that you can strap around your hand just to make sure that you are not dropping the camera. We usually use this strap if we are going on short walks or we are taking a walk around the a national park and we want to make sure that we're not dropping the camera because let's be honest, if you drop it, this is expensive uh, gear, expensive equipment. You don't want that to happen. So this is the first piece uh, of the accessory. And then the second piece is actually already attached to my camera that I'm filming with right now. And it's a small red piece that goes in, slides in and out to make sure that it's attached to the camera. And you will be basically just hold it around your wrist or even your hand if you are comfortable this way and then take photos and videos as necessary. The third accessory for the DSLR camera is this boy here, the Gorilla Joby tripod. We have been using this tripod not too long ago. We actually just uh, bought it before going to Alaska a couple of months ago and I think it's really useful especially if you want to stabilize the camera on the trail and maybe take some long exposure photos or if you are vlogging using the DSLR camera and a lot of people choose to go with the Gorilla Joby. This is a great tripod and you definitely want to give it a try. This is a great tripod. It can be used not only for your camera, but also for your phone. And I'm going to show you that later on. The next piece of accessory is a waterproof case for your SD cards, especially if you are hiking in an area where you know it's going to rain or you are doing a water hike like the Narrows of Zion National Park. It's very important to make sure that your SD cards are protected, especially if you are switching between multiple SD cards or you have some of them as a backup. So this is a very handy case. We got this one about a couple of months ago and we're really happy that we did. The next piece of accessory and that is a package of filters. We have been using filters to take photos and videos and it really had improved the quality of our footage. In this particular package here, there are three filters. A CPL filter, an ND filter, and a UV filter. And if you guys are interested in learning more about these filters, we can probably have a separate video. Just let us know in a comment. And the last piece of accessory that I want to mention for the DSLR category is a new zoom lens that we got a couple of months ago and I'm really glad that we did. Before going to Alaska, we wanted a reliable zoom lens to take good photos of wildlife and make videos of wildlife. And we didn't want to go for a telephoto lens or something of that higher end. Uh, but this Sigma E4.5 to 6.3 was really a great choice. So if you are looking for a good zoom lens, this is something that we highly recommend. And again, I am going to leave links to all of these equipments that I mentioned today in the description box for you guys to refer to. And that takes us to the last category and that is your phone. The best piece of gear is the one that you have right now. And if you do have a phone and you are satisfied with the quality of photos and videos, or, or maybe that's just what you can afford for right now, there's no problem with that. 
there are some accessories that can make things easier for you. And the first accessory is a simple selfie stick. If you are using the phone to take videos of yourself or things around you, you're not going to get a wide angle. And that's something that you can get if you are using a selfie stick. If you are using your hand, you're gonna be probably shaking all the time. And the selfie stick is going to help you with stabilizing your footage and also giving you a wide angle when it comes to taking photos and videos. The Gorilla Joby tripod can be also used for the phone. There is this piece that comes with it when you purchase it, which I did not notice at first. But what you can do, you can hook this piece to the Joby, just like this. You can choose between doing it horizontally or vertically, and then you will be able to place your phone. And there you go. If you want to do a little bit of vlogging, you can use it like this. You can take videos of things around you. And again, you can use it either vertically or horizontally. So this is a great piece of gear, to be honest, the Gorilla Joby. And this is one of the reasons why I like the Gorilla Joby. Can use it for the camera and for the phone and i think that covers pretty much all of the accessories that we have for you guys for today if you do have any questions please do let us know in a comment and do not forget about the giveaway we are giving away a peak design camera clip all you have to do to enter the giveaway is to leave a comment let us know that you are interested and it will automatically enter the giveaway thank you so much for watching if you found this video to be helpful and useful to you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel we are trekking pals habiba and alex right there. We're amateur hikers and backpackers and we create video content about hiking, backpacking and adventure traveling. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you very soon on a new adventure. Bye!